Okay, so today I'm servicing this Civic Tourer of mine. Sitting on a drive, got it up on blocks. Didn't want to jack it up. Uh, oil is draining, pretty simple. There is a panel that comes off underneath. It's something like eight, seven or eight fixings, cross head screws. And the filter and the drain plug are right next to each other. Honda, you've got to love Honda. Smack bang next to each other. So that's draining nicely. Oil well, is nicely hot when I took it out. And air filter. So this car has full Honda service history. And the air filter is just four clips. That's the state of it. So, I mean, I'll look back through the history, but dealers are notorious for never changing stuff like this. Notorious. I've got dealer friends who've got boxes and boxes and boxes of brand new filters that they charge customers for and never fitted. So, anyway. Got some um, Bosch parts to put in, oil filter, air filter, and I'm using good old Smith & Allen oil. Uh, UK companies support the UK industry. So, that's it really, it'll be oil, filter, I've got some rear discs and pads to fit, and I've got a fuel filter, but I'm not sure I'm feeling energetic enough to do that, because that's front section of the exhaust off really. Um, uh, it's better if you can do it on a lift so I may just give that to my friendly MOT man to do uh, but anyway we'll see okay so this is now done air filter done oil topped up takes 4.7 litres and true to Honda it took exactly 4.7 litres including the filter um, the Bosch filter was a different fit into the Honda filter that was a bit of a pain in the arse but that's fine worked fine so now I'm just gonna stick some copperies on these on these little fittings so these are the under tray fittings some of them are quite stiff and uh, reluctant to depart their little house so yeah, I'll copperies those and uh, I'm putting the front up and then turn it around and we can do these rear brakes Okay, so it's a week later, and I am back on this Honda. Um, gave up last week because I uh, had the caliper off, and the tool I had to wind the piston back was just the wrong size. Um, it was either slightly too small or slightly too big. It had, I had two options on the um, piston size. And also, struggle to get these screws these um, disc retaining screws off so I thought right rather than break something frustrate myself I'll get the proper tool to fit the caliper piston and I will come back to these so right and in the meantime I did some other couple of little jobs I remember the drain in my fuel filler flap was blocked this is where it exits um, interestingly this is all soft not hard plastic uh, so I guess better at um, just taking up the noise uh, while we're in here you can also see the active dampers don't look much different to a standard damper uh, pretty good. Uh. Okay, so a little example of just how effective this active damping can be at the back. I mean, you can see the back is quite low. So I've been out collecting stuff this morning. I'm sitting down a bit. And in fact, there's a uh, good weight in the boot uh, Victorian wall toppers but that's quite a heavy load I mean each of these 
it's a solid item and there's 20 of them and some other little bits so all I've done is I've put the uh, I've set the active damping slightly higher so put it up a notch so in terms of how that damping change is represented so if I tap this button here um, you will see that the display changes so now it's gone to normal comfort back to dynamic so normally it would it, normally it would be on that comfort setting uh, now actually normally I would drive it on um, normal so I don't want it too squidgy and normal is too squidgy for me so yeah all done with that little button um, dampers I did check it, it did worry me um, well worry I did wonder how much these dampers are they're sax dampers on the back I did wonder how much they were because I thought well if they go wrong they're gonna cost a friggin fortune but um, actually they're only 80 quid each from Honda so that's not bad is it so uh, if they do start leaking at some stage which of course they bloody well will because they're dampers um, then that's not too bad 80 pounds each uh, to keep this handy little feature to be honest first time I've used it since I bought the car I bought the car in January and I've done what have I done in it 70 76 thousand miles now I've done probably six or seven thousand miles so um, first time I've used that button to change the damping uh, so it's obviously useful it's not super useful for me I don't carry loads like I say I, it's me and the dog or, or me and the daughter or that's it so it's really just used as a run around it's not used as a like a family transport but I guess if you were using it for carrying lots of kit or camping or you know heavy shopping or whatever then um, you would use this feature quite a bit more but for me normal just works most of the time very comfortable spot on really that's it these are so nicely built um, you know brake lines are all coated they're all nice no corrosion on any of these and Flexies. These are all the original parts. These are the original discs. So I'm, I'm changing these. But to be honest with you, the the lip is not that bad. And this is the second set of pads in eighty thou. So the first were changed at thirty nine thou. Um. Yeah, and I'm just changing them. I mean, they're not that. They're not super bad. As you can see. That's not, that's not too bad. Um, inside, yeah, wearing a little bit, but not too bad. Anyway, I've got it up in the air. I've got the bits, so I'm going to do them anyway. And then they are done, aren't they? For another 80,000. Uh, so that's where we are. So it is caliper off, then caliper bracket off, and then disc off. Um, I'm doing both sides at once so that I can uh, when I put the two of them back together I can push a foot brake a couple of times then pull the handbrake a couple of times let the car sync up and because uh, it's got that hill hold uh, feature which isn't as good on a Civic as it was on my Subaru but anyway we're getting into semantics so yeah so that's what we're doing it's in the air take these apart and come back to you in a bit okay uh, piston wound back what a difference it makes to have the proper tool so I got one of these universal kits it didn't look like it had the right one to start with but uh, yeah worked an absolute treat and right so Pads wise, that's the inside, that's the outside, that's 40,000 miles. They can go in the bin. Might as well have this bracket off, give it a clean up, get all this crap off. Um, I'll just put a little bit of copperies in here. And 
yeah give that little caliper a little dust off and then we are good to go this disc will obviously just come off with a tap and if not then it has uh, some 10 mil holes m6 to just wind it off okay so disc is now off and as you can see it's really not completely finished at all there is good mileage left in that but as I say I got the bits so let's just get them on um, you got a wheel speed sensor there and the um, that little trigger wheel so I'll give those a little clean up as soon as I'm in here clean up the face of this uh, oh yeah okay so here we are with the new discs and the pads fitted uh, yeah pretty cool I have cleaned up the caliper a bit and just giving it a brush out Put some copperies on that piston and ease the sliders a little bit had this off obviously so give it a good brush out and that's it so I'll put this piston back on, then I'll do the, put this caliper back on, do the other side, and then um, just push the brake pedal a few times, tighten down these uh, retaining screws, and we are done. So rounding off this little video on maintenance, uh, that's my my sort of pre-winter service and done. Um, got my winter tires obviously fitted and uh, they're still in great nick so they've done 7,000 miles something like that um, new rear brakes are on they're bedding in now and quite nice the coated makes a difference so yeah you should really intend to get coated car needs a wash but say la vie uh, I haven't really shown the boot in its full glory at any stage so, kind of like this little hook holds this flap up. But yeah, when we talk about a big boot, uh, it is a good boot, and that that opens to quite some height. And the lip is quite low, so in terms of my legs, I mean my knees are comfortably above that boot lip edge. Um, they, the cover pulls right across and then you've got this little additional flap like I had in a Subaru Outbacks and then to uh, retract it you just push it down got that, uh, that proper dog guard as well which makes a difference a lot of lashing hooks um, a lot of dog hair as well thank you Ted and uh, yeah so it is a great boot. I've also got that um, load liner. So I think we're pretty much ready for for winter. Don't know how how bloody cold it's going to be. We're into September now, and uh, yeah, you never know, do you? But uh, I think I'm pretty much done. So it'll be nice to. Um, be nice to get through this with no hassles. Oh, it's got in the boot. Um, little 12 volt socket there. There isn't another one, I don't think. But uh, yeah, when this all folds down, of course, it's really easy to fold this down. You, you basically just pull the catches on the seat and it, it all just magics away. Um, but yeah, so this week I've done, I don't know, six, 700 miles in this car. I drove up to North Yorkshire, had it down the south coast moving middle daughter to university in a couple of weeks time eldest has gone back to university in newcastle youngest middle is going to brighton um so it's going to be moving some stuff around this month and i've got quite a few jobs all over the place but again as i've always said with this mileage no problem shrugs it off you just uh keep going keep going keep going and um yeah fingers crossed the reliability continues so as i'm stopped i actually just dipped the oil uh, 
4.7 litres I put in hasn't moved and I don't expect it to move I don't expect it to use any of it um, yeah everything is everything is good todo bien uh, yeah everything's everything's good still good on the Honda uh, really can't you know this that's the problem isn't it when you're when you're kind of reporting on uh, on cars and things if nothing happens then there's nothing really to talk about and I'm quite happy about that I mean it needs a good wash because it's been doing some miles uh, but you know if that's all I have to do wash it put diesel in it still doing 60 62 to the gallon and if all I have to do is occasionally drop the oil Keep an eye on the tires and brakes, stick fuel in it, and give it the odd vacuum. Then I got no problem with that. I haven't got time to be bloody sorting out busted cars in the midst of everything else. So yeah. Anyway, so far so good. Honda continues to be magic. Ted's loving it. Buried in the bloody grass. Where are you going? We're not going up there. That's it. So, we will update you when something happens, which is probably never.